Canada ranks 38th in the world with a population of 38 million. But it is interesting to know that 25% of this population lives in a small area called the Golden Horseshoe, which is only 0.1% of Canada's area and is located near America. But why do such a population live in this area? Welcome to another video from the Geography Tour channel. Canada is a very large country, even larger than China and the United States, which makes it second and head of Russia. But in this country, there is a large population living in the north. Whereas 80% of this population is scattered within the 160 km border between Canada and the United States of America, among which one area has been considered. Golden Rose Shoe, a subregion located in southern Ontario, Canada, whose outer boundaries extend south to Lake Erie and north to Skokak Lake, Lake Simcoe, and Georgian Bay. The Golden Rose Shoe has a population of over 9 million people, which means that one out of every four Canadians lives in this area and also constitutes 54% of the population of Ontario, which makes it the most populated and industrialized area in Canada. But what is the reason why the people of Canada rush to this small area despite the space that is located in the south of its country? So, for a better understanding of the events that happened in the Golden Horse Show, we must refer to its history. The Iroquois established two villages in what is now Toronto, followed by the Mississauga tribe in the early 1700s. The region's rich history and the advantages it offered were some of the reasons that led to the first large influx of European immigrants to the Golden Horseshoe, not directly from Britain, France or British Canada, but from Thuring where the original colonies of the United States. Because during the American Revolutionary War, loyalists to the British crown fled from the Thuring colony and were forced to seek refuge in territories still under British control, the closest refuge being Canada. So, the royal family of Great Britain, at that time, granted these settlers land inside the Golden Horseshoe, partly as compensation for what happened in 13 colonies of the United States. But after 25 years, and in 1793, a serious settlement began in this area, when the city of York was established, which of course was looted and destroyed by American forces during the War of 1812. But after the reconstruction of the city, the Canadians locals changed the name to something more in line with Toronto's native tribes. From then on, the area grew rapidly until the end of the 19th century, with the Greater Toronto area receiving immigrants from many European countries, including many Irish refugees fleeing the Irish famine of the early 1800s. hundreds. In terms of population, by 1901, the general area of Toronto had less than 10,000 people living in it although nearly 240,000 people lived in the city of Toronto alone. But today, the Golden Horseshoe region includes the cities of Toronto and Hamilton, the regions of York, Peel, Niagara, Halton, Durham, Waterloo and many smaller cities and regions that house more than a quarter of Canadians in this country. The industry can be considered the most important reason for the population increase in the Golden Horseshoe. The economy in this region is very diverse so that the Toronto Stock Exchange is the third largest stock market in North America in terms of market value after the New York Stock Exchange and Nasdaq, and is also the seventh largest in this respect. It owns the world stock market. Cities including Hamilton, Oshawa, Aquel, Whitby, and Kitchener all have large-scale industrial manufacturing facilities. Hamilton, dominated by the steel industry and Aquel and Oshawa, primarily by the automotive industry. Other important automobile manufacturing facilities are also located in Brampton and St. Catherine. And while manufacturing remains important to the regional economy, the manufacturing sector has experienced a significant decline since 2000 due to unfavorable exchange rates. It pointed out the increase in energy costs and a decrease in demand from the United States, which was considered the largest customer of Ontario markets. Also, the Port of Hamilton and the Port of Toronto are the two largest ports on Lake Ontario. The Willan Canal system handles tanker and pleasure traffic through large ports. Even in this area, large rail and truck distribution facilities are located in Toronto, Wagon and Brampton, and food processing is also a key element in the economy. But another reason why such a population is located in this area is the presence of large lakes. Because, as you can see on the map, the Golden Horseshoe is located among large lakes such as Ontario, Lake Erie, and Lake Huron which causes this area attracts many people and also these people have the most access to fresh water in the world. 
and it has made the Golden Horseshoe as the best and richest region in terms of agriculture in Canada. And this has also been a proof of the early life of the immigrants in this region and it is currently a main element for the people of this region. Niagara Falls is considered as an important attraction in the Golden Horseshoe, which has also helped the people of this region a lot in the industry, because with the containment of Niagara Falls in 1882, this region entered an energy revolution, which ultimately has the potential hydroelectricity encoded northern Ontario in the St. Lawrence River, as well as coal and nuclear thermal power. After 1900, with the construction of the railway in northern Ontario. Major discoveries of minerals, including silver and gold, were also made, and in addition, the forest industry expanded as pulp and paper and became the main export goods, which caused the export industry to grow well in the Golden Horseshoe and bring a lot of wealth to them. Today, the Golden Horseshoe has a population of about 9.7 million people, whose largest cities include Toronto with 2.8 million people. Hill region with 1.4 million people, a York region with a population of about 1.2 million people. And also, due to the history of immigration that the Golden Horseshoe had, it has become one of the most multicultural regions of Canada. So that in 2021, around 49% of the people of this region are of European heritage, and the next largest groups are of South Asian descent with 16.6%. And East Asian heritage groups make up 10.6% of the society. According to these statistics, it is interesting to know that only 1.1% of the population of today's society are the native people of Golden Horseshoe. In the end of these geographical features, the Golden Horseshoe accommodates more than 25% of the Canada's population, which is only 0.1% of Canada's area, which makes it this even incredible and unprecedented in the world. Economically, this area is also considered as the economic pillar of Canada, and with the huge resources that it has been able to use with good management, it has been able to bring great wealth to this country and create a large market all over the world. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some useful information about the Golden Horseshoe. So if you liked the video, it is better to like it and share it with your friends. And if you're interested in geography, subscribe to the Geography Tour channel. I'll see you in another video.